Hey everybody, we're going to do some quick chem and today we are uh, writing formulas for ionic compounds. Now these are ionic compounds. I'm going to jump back and forth to my periodic table. I know they're ionic because sodium is a metal right here on the periodic table, number 11, and chloride stands for chlorine or it is chlorine. Chlorine's a non-metal way over here on my periodic table. So sodium chloride is a metal and a non-metal. It's ionic and that means our charges have to cancel each other out. So to write formulas for ionic compounds, we start by just getting their symbols. So sodium on the periodic table is Na, number 11, and chlorine is Cl, number what, 35? No, 17, 35 is not chlorine. So I've got sodium and chlorine. Remember on your periodic table, every column shows you the charge, the oxidation number for that element. So sodium is right here. It then in column one is gonna be a plus one charge. Chlorine, way over here, is in column seven, so it will be a negative one charge. Remember, these are your valence electron arrangements. Uh, that's in a different video. So sodium is a plus one, and chlorine is a minus one. You can also see these as one plus or in one minus, or just plus and minus. Now, these charges have to add up to zero. So I've got a plus one sodium plus a negative one chlorine. So our formula for sodium chloride is just Na, Cl because that plus one cancels out my negative one charge. This is a neutral compound. So that's sodium chloride. Now it gets a little bit trickier when we have different charges. Magnesium chloride. Magnesium is Mg. Chlorine is still Cl. If we go back to our periodic table, magnesium is right next to sodium. It is number 12 on the periodic table right here. In column number two, it has a charge or an oxidation number of two plus. Chlorine is still a negative one. So now let's look at how we cancel this out. So I've got a two plus here and a one negative here. In other words, I've got two positive charges and only one negative charge. I need more negative charges. There's more than one chlorine in the world. So to get that negative charge up to a plus two, we can double it. So I'm gonna say instead of one chlorine pairing with sodium or one chlorine pairing with magnesium, we're gonna have two pair up. So now we've got two times negative one is negative two plus two. So our formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. This is a neutral compound, a neutral ionic compound. And still trickier, magnesium nitride. Now I've still got magnesium and it's a two plus. Nitride is nitrogen, so let's come over here on our periodic table, nitrogen right here, number seven. So it has a three negative charge. So we need to balance these charges out. So we've got N with a three negative. One of the easier ways to get your charges balanced is just a little trick. Um, I call it flip and switch. I don't know what other people call it, but if you take the quantity, your oxidation number quantity from each atom and put it down as the subscript for the opposite. So I know magnesium is a plus two. I'm gonna take the two and it's gonna slide down here next to nitrogen. The three for the nitrogen, negative three, is gonna slide down and become a subscript for magnesium. What you end up with is three times two is plus six. We're gonna add that to two times negative three is minus six, so this is zero. You can take those charges and switch them, the crossover. So our correct formula for magnesium nitride is Mg3N2. This is a neutral ionic compound. So that's a quick overall. These are only the main group ionic compounds, but the process is the same for other stuff like transition metals, polyatomic ions, and we'll have other videos on that. But hopefully this is helpful to kind of see those worked examples. If you have questions, leave comments, or uh, yeah, I guess that's the only thing you can do. Leave comments. I'll see you in the next video.